what up everybody welcome to the show this right here is my two meta m4 builds these are going to be budget friendly i know a lot of people are getting into the alpha right now and struggling with how to build the m4 money might be an issue etc the m4 i believe with casual play and everything is pretty much the meta gun to be running right now there are a few good subs a lot of it is like most of these games it kind of depends on the ammo that you're using for me i believe at least competitively probably the g3 is one of the better guns but at least for farming getting getting through zero dam trying to get your money up stuff like that i'd recommend running the m4 and these two builds are going to get you there so we're going to first start off with a more close quarter run and gun cqb type of build uh, i'm going to show you first what it looks like when firing so you kind of see the recoil this is the cqb build so let me go ahead and show you what we got here you're going to be running the Birdcage flash hider. We're gonna be trying to go with handling and accuracy for the most part. If you look here, this is kind of a little pro tip. If you look here, accuracy is gonna be your hip fire. Stability is gonna be your ADS. Weapon handling is obviously your speed of ADSing and moving the gun around and stuff like that. Control is gonna be recoil. Range is range, damage is damage, okay? So for this CQB build, we wanna kind of forego recoil, which is control. We kind of wanna forego a little bit of stability but we want to make up for it in handling and accuracy. So we're going to be going, I'm going to do this rapid fire so I don't take up too much of your guys' time. Remember, if you like the video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And while I got your attention, make sure you join the Caliber Collective. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. We're going to be doing the birdcage. There is no calibration with the, the brakes. Then you're going to be doing just the standard practical vertical grip. Remember, we're keeping this budget. So we're going to hit calibrate. I want you to go negative five on the placement and around negative 11 millimeter on the thickness, okay? This is gonna give you really good ADS movement, speed, things like that, so that's important. For the grip, you can leave this stuff here. If you wanna get you a mag pouch, you can go ahead and get that. But for the uh, pistol grip, we wanna go with a 416 practical grip. We wanna drop the weight limit down just a little bit. Again, we want movement stability, all that stuff, aiming stability. And then thickness, we wanna bump that up, because again, we're trying to, uh, to go for that type of build. Then the stock is gonna be the last thing that you can calibrate. So we're gonna do the weight limit. We're gonna drop it to negative 10, trying to buff these stats. We're gonna move the placement to a negative two. As you see, these things change. We wanna get good close quarter statistics. Sight is gonna be personal preference. I happen to like the type two holographic. I do not change anything with the calibration on these. If you wanna go with something like a red dot, you wanna spend a little more money, that's fine too. When it comes down to this stuff, it's pretty much personal preference. So that's going to be the CQB. Now I'm going to show you a little bit more of the ranged where recoil and stability overall while firing is the most important thing with this build. So I'm going to show you first what it looks like. We got the uh, T2 or whatever it's called in this game on top. And I'll show you how to change that calibration. So it gives you a little bit of a zoom. You can kind of see that. damage downrange build that's affordable overall so let's go ahead and show you what's on it this is the only thing that's a little bit of an outlier so we're going to be doing a uh, level three muzzle break the steel break because the uh, steel break is going to give us a lot of the control that we need again going with the same vertical grip real cheap but we're going to be kind of buffing it for that extra stability control etc thickness is going to be 12.8 Magazine does not matter. Same pistol grip, but we're going to be calibrating it a little bit differently for more stability and control. And then same thing with the stock. We're going to do plus two instead of negative two, not changing the weight limit. And then the cool part, if you did not know this, this is pretty cool. You can actually change the optic a little bit for the zoom. You're going to be sacrificing really nothing to, to change this. Obviously, we want a little bit of range and again, still staying cheap. So we go to a 0.25x. I did not mess with the pupil distance. I, I don't want that to be affected really. So I left that at zero. So those are the two builds guys. Here's the cool thing I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go ahead and save these right now and put them in the description below. I'm gonna share my loadouts. So when you see this number, all you're gonna do is copy and paste it into this and you can import my loadouts and I'll name them so you can kind of see which one's which in the description. So that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the build. Hope you enjoyed Delta Force. If you like this video and want me to do other guns and play around with all the statistics and kind of see which builds are best, just please let me know. Right now, I'm mainly using the M4 and the G3 anyway, so I, I'm not really messing with other guns. But if that's something you'd like to see, let me know.
I hope you all enjoyed the video, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.